and then they put all the fish guts that they were not using into these tanks and then pile them up with salt and let them sit there and ferment in the sunshine and then they'd sell this kind of like cooking oil which was quite a, a common uh, cooking ingredient in Roman times all across the Roman Empire. I'm at a place called El Aranal. It's just a short 10 minute drive from Javier uh, along the coast south. And this is a place that was quite important in Roman times because they used to export kind of a fish sauce that they made locally. And what they did was they carved out these rocks here to make these big pools. They threw all the fish guts in and then pile them up with salt and let them sit there and ferment in the sunshine. And then they'd sell this kind of like cooking oil, which was quite a, a common uh, cooking ingredient in Roman times, all across the Roman Empire. Um, so <laughs> it's just small things that you, you come across and you think, well, what is that and how is it? And you do a bit of research and you find out so much fascinating stuff. Now Baz has set the mood for fascinating stuff and ancient history. Let's take a look at Javier Old Town on market day. This morning, we're going to visit the Old Town and we're going to check out the markets that yeah. happen every Thursday. Yeah. We've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks now, but... Months. <laughs> months. Uh, there's always something happening that gets in the way. Yeah. Like uh, this... Uh, like this car that's reversing, into, up the, into, us. reversing into a pedestrian area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, um, check it out and see what they've got. Yeah, what bargains we can find. Fresh fruit and veggies, maybe. So we thought we'd come to the end of the market and then we noticed this steady stream of people uh, coming up and down this street. So we're just going to follow the crowd, eh? Yep. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I can finally get my hat in that place over there. Yeah. So does that mean now I have to do anything that's ever to do? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. It's got the meshing to keep it cool, but it'll also keep the sun off you. Yeah. Might be a bit big, I don't know. No? <laughs> Looks, looks more like an Indiana Jones kind of thing, doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that, really. Um, okay, so so I'm going to buy this one. Yep. Okay, this one. After Baz bought his hats, we decided to check out some more of Javier Old Town.
tempted by the fresh fish, we bought some Spanish mackerel for lunch. What's for lunch today? Spanish mackerel. Oh, yeah. With garlic and oil. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to taste really good. It is. I'm going to make a salad. Spinach. Tomatoes, which I'll add on later because I like tomatoes and Baz doesn't. And some raw mushrooms because Baz likes the raw mushrooms and I don't. So I'll put them on our salad separately. It's like Jamie Oliver meets Rick Stein in this kitchen. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got the Rick Stein hat and the fish going on. Jamie Oliver with the, you know, make something in 15 minutes and with like two or three ingredients. <laughs> You like fish, don't you? Yeah. And I always cook fish in sunglasses. Right, what about fish that don't have sunglasses? Do you cook them as well? No, don't cook them at all. <laughs> what about fish in hats? Yeah, they get cooked. Okay. Classy. It is. So, I'm just going to throw a bit of, um, a bit of butter on there. some olive oil just because we're in Spain mm -hmm. and we're going to have olive oil mm. and then there's some garlic in there mm -hmm. a couple of them on top as well for good mm. measure mm. and wrap it up this is good so that's pasta number one yeah and then there's another part here that's going to look like that when it's finished. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the reveal. <laughs> oh, it's looking cooked. Oh, steamy. Oh, yum. I think that's about as done as it's going to get, eh? Hmm, let's have a look, see what it looks like with the salad. It looks, it's so soft and juicy. Mmm, yum. That was so tasty, Baz. You've done an excellent job. 